Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Credit. Today in this video we will be discussing about some of the frequently asked questions about Applied AI course. Uh, I have been getting so many questions on LinkedIn and also in comment section. So uh, most of the questions were repetitive so I thought why not put them into a video so that maximum people can be benefited from that. And yes I know I haven't made videos uh, in a while. Uh, I was quite busy with some other work and also in between my laptop wasn't working so I had to give it to uh, repair and because of this uh, pandemic situation, lockdown, uh, parts were not available so it took a long time to repair my laptop but now I think everything is uh, back to normal maybe I mean not the pandemic thing but for me things are uh, quite easy now so most probably I'll be able to make uh, videos consistently like I used to make and I'll be able to help you guys so uh, with that being said let's move on to the video uh, or the questions but before moving further I would like to uh, ask you if you are new here uh, consider subscribing to the channel and if you have already subscribed to the channel hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live so uh, now that has been said uh, let's go to the first question the first question is uh, what should be the laptop specification so um you can go for 4 gb ram but uh, what i would suggest you is if you are uh, if you really want to make a career in uh, data science so probably you will be doing some of the minor projects here and there on your own so what i would suggest you is go for minimum 8 gb ram and uh, intel i5 processor or if you want amd you can go for a ryzen 5 series or above them uh, if I have to pick one out of Intel and AMD, uh, if you had asked me this question uh, some 2-3 years back, I would have uh, blindly said uh, Intel but uh, now AMD is very competitive and if I am in the market today, I would probably pick uh, AMD processor, AMD powered laptop. So uh, that's my pick and also GPU should be minimum 2 GB. So uh, yeah, that was the answer for this question. Now let's move on to the uh, next question which is is applied AI course for experienced people who have experience of more than seven to eight years. So uh, it depends on your experience, what type of experience you have. If you have experience in IT industry, so probably some of your experience would be counted. And if you don't have experience in IT, uh, then you might have a little hard time. But even if you have experience in IT industry, uh, you will have to make a very strong portfolio uh, because there are many people like uh, uh, people who have less experience less than five years of experience so you 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 surely need to have some uh, good portfolio and uh, which should stand out and uh, i think if you want to do that uh, you need a good understanding of all the concepts so uh, if we talk about applied ai course uh, they have taught things in a very a uh, clear and uh, a good way so yes of course you can take the course but uh, just don't expect that you will surely get the job it will depend on you uh, how you are taking the course how you are making your portfolio but surely they will help you and you will be able to get the job most probably i'm not saying surely but most probably you will be able to get the job so if your priority is to gain some knowledge you can definitely go for applied ai course and after gaining the knowledge, if you want a job in that, then also you can take the Applied AI course, but uh, don't just take my word. It totally depends on you. And uh, uh, if you ask me, I would say yes, go for it. But again, it should be your decision. Don't just take my words. And again, I said, if you don't have experience in IT, then it will be a hard time, but uh, there's nothing wrong in trying. So it's all about trying and uh, maybe if luck is with you and if you have put a good amount of effort surely you will get the job in uh, in data science field now with that being said <coughs> sorry about that uh, let's move on to the next question so uh, this is actually a very popular question how much time it will take to complete the course so it depends on various factors the first thing is um, how much time you are dedicating for your uh, course and the next thing is how fast you are able to understand the concepts and uh, the next thing is how good you are with python programming because if you are really good with python programming it will be uh, easy for you to uh, do the assignment but if you are not very comfortable with python programming then you probably will have a really hard time uh, solving those assignments because it's not like just uh, copy paste from other things because they also have a 
plagiarism check so they will check if you have copied course uh, codes from outside so that will again uh, hit you on the back so uh, please don't do that and try to write your own code of course you can take reference from the internet and if you are taking some reference put those links into your code but again <coughs> as this course is just uh, has a validity of just one year I would uh, always uh, recommend you to first learn Python programming and then join the course because you will uh, you will put more of more your time into Python programming than learning other things in the course and you will uh, use those um, one year in some of the part of that one year in Python programming so it's better you know that they're teaching the concept in Python so why not learn Python and then join the course so it will save some of your time and the last thing <coughs> which is uh, laptop specification so the data is really huge so it also it will depend on your laptop how powerful it is so uh, if your laptop is basic uh, so it will take time to process the data and again it will just uh, add up to the time to complete the course and if you have a high-end laptop then probably it will take less time for you so yeah that is the thing um, and if you want a better un understanding of uh, how much time it will take to complete the course I would suggest you to go to the applied AI course website I will leave the link into the description and there you will find a, a schedule tab there you can see uh, I, there when you will click on it you will get a google form and when you will fill it they will send you a, a day wise breakdown of the topics so from that you will get a um, a little bit of understanding that how much time it will take for you to cover the course and uh, also uh, you will have a clear picture like uh, if you tell me if you ask me uh, how much time it will take to complete the course they, like I, I told you there are so many factors so based on that I probably won't be able to give you a clear picture but uh, from that uh, schedule thing that they have on their website you will probably get the clear picture so that is my suggestion to you now let's move on to the next question which is uh, applied AI course provide certificate so the answer is very simple yes they do provide certificate once you complete all the 30 assignments and you done with all the course videos so they will provide you the certificate now let's move on to the next question how to get better at python so again the answer is simple practice 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 now you will ask everybody uh, everybody tells practice 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 but how do i practice where do i practice so uh, there are several resources which you can follow um, there uh, i have listed few of them like read code code chef code war check io hacker rank hacker Earth. so uh, based on your preference you can select any one of them i personally like lead code uh, because they do show uh, your runtime and your uh, memory consumption i think uh, others uh, other other platforms also uh, show you those things but uh, it's just about UI and uh, other things. I personally like lead code. You can check uh, other platforms and if you like any one of them, uh, you can always practice on them. And uh, the other thing how you can improve your Python programming is uh, by solving others, others doubt. Um, it's not possible for you to get all the errors by yourself and then solving them. So it's always better to try to solve others problem if somebody is posting some uh, doubt and uh, you don't know about it just google it and probably you will find the solution and you will end up helping them also you will learn new thing so that is again is gonna add up to your uh, python learning and now you will ask uh, how will i solve others problem because nobody is gonna come to me and ask me uh, hey please tell me uh, i have this doubt so yes again uh, there are some platforms like uh, stack overflow stack exchange even github will help you in that so you can get uh, many questions there everybody posts their questions every day there so you just have a look there uh, look on those platforms and try to answer them and also you can join some telegram groups like programming cradle if you want link i will leave it into the description section and you can join programming cradle where there are many people uh, they try to help each other many good people are there i really appreciate their work and uh, also there are many other uh, channels on telegram or group you can say where uh, related to programming so you can always post your queries there or if somebody has posted their query you can try to answer them so that's how you will get uh, better at python now let's move on to the next question 
so again this is a very uh, important question and very frequently asked so uh, what are the things to know before joining applied ai course why i'm not saying prerequisite prerequisite i'm not say, uh, saying because these things are taught in the course uh, not django and class but maths probability stats and python programming is being taught in the course but what i would uh, suggest you is if you have a uh, uh, understanding of these things well before joining the course it will again gonna speed up your learning and you will be able to finish the course uh, pretty fast so uh, that's why i am saying things to join uh, before apply day goes not as a prerequisite so because if you don't know these things you can surely join the course and you will learn them into the course but again it will eat some of your time and as it is for just one year so the time is really important uh so yeah uh, learn python programming i told you how to learn python programming and how to practice them and if you want to learn math stats pro and probability i'm not asking you to be a master uh, in math stat and probability but you need to have a ba basic understanding like what is uh, area under the curve what exactly it means uh, like what is pdf uh, what is cdf so those things you should know uh, their meaning that you should know not just the full form so uh, that is the thing and also uh, if you know django or flask these are uh, python web frameworks so if you know <coughs> sorry so if you know uh, those uh, framework it will uh, help you in uh, uh, deploying your machine learning models so these uh, things will again help you in uh, deployment part now uh, some important resources that i would like to mention here is uh, lead code you already got to know about it uh stat quest and uh, three blue one brown these are youtube channels uh, i personally like them very much they teach you uh, stats uh, maths concepts like calculus linear algebra and uh, probability so you can learn these concepts from these two channels and if you want to learn uh, django or flask or even python programming you can uh, check out cory shaffer's uh, youtube channel uh, he has amazing tutorials on that on his channel so uh, these are the resources which i wanted to tell you now let's move on to the next question which is applied ai course for data analyst so the answer is yes and no <coughs> sorry uh because if you want to become a data scientist in future and right now you are okay with starting your career as a data analyst then you can go for the applied ai course because it is it will teach you uh some visualization uh, using matplotlib and cborn which are uh, python packages and later on they are going in depth with the machine learning algorithms and then deep learning algorithm which will help you in that in your uh, data science job role but if you are someone who just want to be a data analyst data analyst will just visualize the data and uh, make sense of the data uh, what exactly is the outcome from the data uh, but not uh, predicting part so if you want to be data analyst then this course will be uh, pretty much advanced for you so what i would suggest you is uh, learn sql excel tableau or power bi or even any uh, python library for visualization like matplotlib cborn there are many libraries so if you learn them you will be good to go for data analyst job role so uh, that is my answer for uh, this question now let's move on to the next question which is job location after applied ai course so i have heard from few people i haven't personally talked to applied ai course about us thing but i have heard about a few people they are saying that uh, they uh, they assist you in getting jobs in us so i'm not sure if you are in india and you want job in us uh, they will they they're going to help you or if you are already in us and you job in us then they are going to help you so this is something you need to get uh, clarified from uh, applied ai course uh, i didn't do that because i'm not uh, really looking for a job right now even in india or in us so uh, you can uh, get it clarified from applied ai course uh, but if we talk about <coughs> in india uh, you can get placed in any part of uh, india uh, depending on of course the opening uh, you can give your uh, preferences like if you want uh, delhi bangalore chennai hyderabad uh, any place jaipur whatever you like you can give those places Uh, if there is opening they will uh, refer you there and if you are able to clear the interview surely you can go there so it totally depends on the openings so uh, what i would suggest you is don't um, i mean i know it's good to be in a city where you are very close to your home but 
of course if you are uh, just getting started with this uh, field surely if you are joining applied ai course you are just getting started so it's better to take up uh, any job in any location but uh, after some time you can relocate to the place which is near to your hometown so that will be my suggestion and the next question is uh, can we get placed within one year so the answer is yes uh, let's say if you finish your course uh, within six months so uh, let's say uh, yeah you finish your course within one month so right from the day you finish your course they are going to refer you to the companies and uh, let's say on the next day you are having interview with some company and you cracked it so you are hired within six months so of course it is possible so it totally depends on you uh, how fast you are able to complete the course and the validity is one year so you have one year time uh, within that you can get placed anytime and if you finish your uh, course uh, exactly in one year so you will have another uh, six month of uh, six months of buffer time where you will have opportunity to get placed <laughs> so that is the answer for this question now let's move on to the next question uh, which is uh, my advancements in applied ai course so i have been getting so many questions like people asking uh, how are you doing with the course how much have you completed the course uh, and uh, how much uh, courses remaining what assignments you are doing so uh, yeah i would like to answer that uh, i haven't made a very big leap in past few days or months you can say so because like i told you my laptop wasn't working then i was i got caught up with some other work but uh, so that was the sad part and the happy part is i am back and i probably will be able to give more time to assignments because i have completed the course content uh, so i don't really have to watch uh, videos now so i can give all my time to the assignments but again there are so many uh, live sessions and uh, they are actually helpful so i will give some time every day to watch those live sessions i won't just uh, watch the whole live session because they are uh, probably one or 30 minute and some are two hours so uh, i will give 30 minutes per day maybe or maybe one hour uh, i don't know depending on the uh, concept i am able to understand or not so based on that i will try to give my time to live sessions and rest of the time i will try to dedicate to the assignment so i hope i will be able to cover the assignments soon but uh, again the data is getting bigger and bigger with every assignment so it is taking a lot of time so you need to be patient and i am really finding it hard to be patient because when you run the program it will take two hours and then you will just uh, do something else and then you will uh, get caught up with that work and when you will be back you will see your program i'm using google collab so uh, once the program is uh, completely processed uh, you will have 90 minutes uh, till the session will be live and if you don't do anything it will just uh, close your session so again you will have to run it for two hours so that is the thing and i'm really struggling with that so I'm, i will try to uh, get better at that but uh, let's see how it goes so that was my uh, thing and yeah uh, i have done 10 mandatory assignments so that again tells you how much assignments i have done so yeah these were the uh, frequently asked questions and i hope uh, this video was helpful for you and if this video was helpful for you please go ahead subscribe to the channel share this video with uh, your friends your colleagues and uh, yeah again give it a thumbs up and yeah of course you can comment your questions uh, in the comment box I will try to cover them in the next video if I haven't covered it uh, in this video. So um, yeah, with that, I'll just uh, leave for today. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Have a great day.